Hi, I'm Phil Story from Glow, and we're on a mission to help businesses do more with their website. Before we start with today's video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also check out our website for more helpful tips and advice. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you three ways that you can make your WordPress website a little bit more secure. WordPress accounts for about 35% of the entire internet. Now, I'm no math geek, but that's a heck of a lot of websites. That also means that there's an enormous amount of hackers trying to gain access to those websites. If you think for a second about what you do for fun, don't write it in the comments, well, this is what they do for fun. All day, every day, they're trying to gain access to websites. If you have a WordPress site, however, the good news is there's loads of ways that you can make it more secure. Okay, so tip number one, make sure you have an SSL certificate installed on your website. That might not mean a lot, but if you have a look on your site and look up in the top left corner, there should be a little padlock. Basically, if there's a padlock there, you're good. If there isn't, it'll probably say not secure. And if it says not secure, you need to get an SSL certificate installed. So by installing one, what that means is that anybody who's trying to mess about with your website or hack it or gain access to it, it means that they won't be able to see any personal information that's entered. So if you think about forms where people are putting their address in or they're buying something from your site, the SSL certificate means that all that data is very secure. These days, Google actually recommend that you have an SSL certificate installed, so it can actually go um, a certain way to helping your SEO and your rankings on Google. If you don't have an SSL certificate, just think for a second about what that says about your brand. Not secure, doesn't look great, does it? Particularly if you're in the finance industry. And if you go back to the days before the internet, think about the high street shop. Without an SSL certificate, it's a little bit like leaving your shop at the end of the day and putting a big sign in the window that says, doors unlocked, help yourself, which obviously you'd never do. Now, to install an SSL certificate is relatively straightforward for your web developer or your hosting company, so they should be your first port of call. Tip number two, change the default login web address for your website. Now, on WordPress, every hacker in the world knows that the default login is forward slash WP admin. So if your website was google.com, it would be google.com forward slash WP admin. It's one of the easiest ways for hackers to start getting into your website. Now to prevent that, it's actually quite straightforward. So log into your site and install a plugin. Uh, the one that we would recommend is called All-in-One WP Security, and it's free. So install that plugin and then go down to the brute force section of that plugin and change the login to something different and memorable. Nice and easy. And tip number three, change the default username. Again, a bit like the last one, every hacker knows that the default username for a WordPress website is admin. So don't make it so easy for them. You can even change this one without installing a plugin. So go to your WordPress site, log in, and go to the users section. When you're there, add a new user and set the username to something other than admin. It really doesn't matter what it is, as long as it isn't admin. Then log back out and log in as the new user and delete the admin user account. Job done. So there you go, you've just made your website a little bit more secure. Follow correctly and assuming you have a reliable web developer and hosting company, these things should take you no more than about 15 minutes to implement. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out our website for more tips just like this.